And I walked into this locker room and it's like all these naked women. <laughs> it was <laughs> It was a lot guys okay it was hi guys and welcome back to my channel this is tato presenting to you life and tea so you know on this channel we talk about all things japan all things living in okinawa as an international student i like you guys to see japan through my eyes so everything that amazes me i want to share it or anything that scares me or kind of just gets me thinking i like to share that on this channel if you are new here please do consider liking subscribing and maybe sharing this video with some of your friends if you're ever considering traveling to japan or okinawa specifically please do not hesitate to ask me any questions and to the best of my knowledge i'll try answering them all right let's get on with this video So this week, when was it? Um, this weekend, actually, I went to an onsen, okay? So I know if you've been living in Japan, you're probably asking me, like, you've been there for so long, Tato, why haven't you gone to an onsen? Like, ah, that's what people in Japan do, right? So, but if you've never been to Japan, and if you don't know much about Japan, you don't even know what an onsen is, probably. So I'm just gonna explain it briefly to you an onsen is basically like um it's a it's a it's a, onsens in japan are pretty popular and it's basically a place where people go and soak their bodies in water that has high concentrations of minerals usually it's spring water or water from the sea um, that is heated up to a specific temperature and then people want to go in there and soak their bodies in there to be quite honest with you i'm not sure what the difference is between an onsen and a hot spring i do know what the difference is between those two and a public bath now a public bath is simply it could just be tap water that's been heated to a specific temperature and it's you know back in the day when people didn't have bathrooms for each house people would go to a public bath to clean their bodies essentially that's what it is and they're not as popular nowadays but like hot spring and onsen i'm still not sure is onsen just the japanese word for hot spring i don't know it's been purported to heal some skin issues to relieve stress to promote good circulation this is just what people who you know usually go to onsen say but yeah it's just one of those things that japanese people do all the time now here's the thing right you might be thinking okay what's the big deal you just you're used to going to the beach you go to the pool what's the big deal with an onsen the onsen is a little bit more specific in the sense that you when you go inside you're fully naked <laughs> it's segregated uh, between males and females and if you're a female you only be with the females and you'll be completely naked and you just go in there 10 15 30 minutes of your time and then so obviously knowing very little about you know the etiquette at onsens and what's expected and what's not i decided to ask who knows best google and i came across this website from the kashiwaya magazine and it literally has like eight rules and manners of how to go about you know being cultured in an onsen and so the first rule that we have here they say go naked no swimsuit okay cool so I'm not grabbing any swimsuits and make sure that you are clean <laughs> wash your private areas first or wash yourself first and um, no running and no swimming in the onsen in the bath don't be drunk um, no washing so you're not supposed to like actually bathe in the tub and this one was really funny to me watch others when washing or showering <laughs> i think this meant like watch out for others because i thought it meant literally watch other people while they're washing or showering and don't put your towel inside the bath don't you know carry glassware wipe your body before entering the locker room and yeah it says thank you for your cooperation down here it has basically some details about what each of these rules entails so yeah now that i am informed we can go ahead and go to the onsen <laughs> 
So I went to this onsen that is in a hotel nearby and because of my student status and whatever partnerships my school has with this place, I get a discount. So yeah, I went there on Saturday, I believe. Yes, I went there on Saturday because I had I had actually spent the whole day like rearranging furniture, being super busy, like spring cleaning and all that. And I felt that, you know, my muscles were really tired and all. So I went there. Now, I wanna tell you about the process. So you get in, they give you your locker key and you've got your towels as well. You go in and as customary in Japan, always take off your shoes, don't be that foreigner, right? You go in and I walked into this locker room and it's like all these naked women. <laughs> it was <laughs> it was a lot guys, okay, it was it was a lot. <laughs> I specifically went um in the evening because I was like I don't know when people usually go to onsens but I just don't want to meet my friends there you know like I I'm okay I'm comfortable being naked like by myself or I can be naked in front of strangers but I am not gonna be naked in front of people that I will see in the lab the next day I'm like okay let's draw the line I work with you I don't need to see what's underneath that lab coat honey <laughs> Anyways, but luckily for me, I didn't see anyone that I knew. I don't know if anybody recognized me, but I didn't see anybody that I knew. So thank goodness for that. So anyways, I got in and it's the locker room. There's people drying their hair. There's people sitting down on their towels, just like putting lotion and whatnot. And I just try to mind my business as much as possible. But at the same time, still trying to learn like where to go and what exactly to do. Because even though I had read the, you know, the regulations and whatnot it was still like Ugh, this is so new for me i don't know where are the showers where is everything what do i do after like this stage so i was looking at the girl next to me because we kind of walked in together and we chose lockers in the same area and so yeah we both took off our clothes and i was like oh, okay she's going in there so we walked in and there's showers so you clean yourself first take a shower you know make sure everything is nice and neat and then yeah there were two areas so they had like the actually three areas so they had the one bigger tub with water heated to 40 degrees and then there's a jacuzzi in the corner also with water heated up to 40 degrees but it's bubbling and then there is a smaller pond like structure with water that is only 18 degrees and it was cold as fuck Oh my god, <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting sick or what, I swear I took an antigen test just the day before yesterday and I was fine, so I don't know what is happening, but I've been kind of sneezing since I woke up and you know what, don't pay me any bother. Anyways, so I cleaned myself and then I was kind of looking around like is there an order to go into these tubs do i just choose one and stay there do i go to all three do i go from cold to hot do i go hot to cold i was i was just so confused guys and you know we're still trying to be mindful of like covid safe distances and whatnot so i was just trying not to be in a place where there's like a lot of people to be honest there were not a lot of people i think because of the time that i went but you know still i was cognizant of that so i <laughs> I just started in the 40 degree water because it was the bigger one and I just stood in my corner. Honestly, it was very comfortable. It was so, it was so soothing. It felt like the water was massaging me. It was, it was good. I don't know if it's the salt content or whatever, but it was, it was an awesome, awesome experience. And you know, I was thinking to myself that maybe i'm gonna mind being naked and being with like other women everybody's naked i don't know i thought i would not mind it but honestly i got over it very very quickly like i got over it within a few minutes i did like seeing a lot of the different shapes of butts but like <laughs> but honestly i got i got over it so quick like it's not even in your mind at least for me it wasn't in my mind at all i was just like concentrating on ah woosah you know like the healing process or whatever 
and so I, I stayed there and then I really wanted to go into the jacuzzi so I waited for the ladies who were in there to kind of come out first because it was smaller so I wanted to be like the only one or maybe just one of two when I got into the jacuzzi there's a lady who joined me in there and immediately started a conversation and I was just like oh my god this is so weird <laughs> why are we even talking but she was so nice and she was asking me what I do in Okinawa, how much Japanese I can speak. The whole conversation was in Japanese. And you know, apart from my body feeling so warm from the water, like my brain was boiling from this conversation because I was just like, ah, I have to remember all the vocabulary. Ooh, because I, I just didn't imagine anybody would talk to me, you know, so, but I, I enjoyed it. And you know, she told me about her husband, her family, and it was so sweet and we both got out at the same time now in this particular hotel next to the next to the onsen they also have the sauna area it's a dry sauna with like 80 degrees celsius temperature and i was like i'm already here i want to go let's get all the heat you know so i walked in i was the only one in there i was like oh thank god it was so damn hot but it was so good like i was sweating and mm, i just felt like this was a auto spa type of thing like you know you go to a spa you get somebody massaging you and you know essential oils and all that this was like that except you were taking yourself through all of those processes i came out of there feeling quite rejuvenated especially from the long day that i'd had it was amazing and i'm just like wow why did i wait more than two years i've been in japan for uh two years and nine months now almost three years and this was my first time it was my first time at the onsen and it's like 10 minutes drive from where i live so i definitely understand people who be like oh my god you took your time but you know sometimes it's just like this is new to me the whole concept is very strange to me and so i was just like i'm just not gonna do it you know i've heard of people going to onsens with you know their friends you know you go there it's somebody's birthday weekend and you all just decide to go to an onsen and come out and drink or you're meeting your parents-in-law or <laughs> you know like people have business deals in onsens apparently and i cannot imagine how awkward it is but having been there now i'm just like maybe it's not as awkward as i thought you know you meet someone and you're probably talking about science or you're talking about a an entrepreneurial venture while naked in a in a public tub either way you both come out of there feeling like your bodies are healthier happier and you know that night I slept like a baby like I slept like a baby so yeah I think that if you are like me and a bit hesitant to go to this thing you should definitely go just don't invite me if you're if you're my friend i don't want to go with <laughs> i don't want to go with my friends just yet <laughs> but like you know do go and do enjoy yourself i think it's well worth it so yeah if you guys have been to an onsen please let me know what was your first experience like down in the comment section and also if you know what the difference between an onsen and a hot spring is guys like honestly like let's talk about it let's educate each other okay so anyways i hope that you enjoyed this topic today and hopefully if you do come to japan this will be something that you might want to experience or you might want to go to or you know just yeah all right see you next time guys bye <coughs> in any case um